Xin chào. Hello everyone. This is Chang TV from Hello Vietnamese. We provide Vietnamese lessons in simple English. Join us and you can speak Vietnamese in no time. In today's lesson, let's learn about the Vietnamese alphabet and the writing system. This is the Vietnamese alphabet. As you can see here, different from other Asian languages which use pictorial characters, Vietnamese has a Roman alphabet which is almost similar to English with only a few modifications. There are four consonants that are present in the English alphabet but not in the Vietnamese alphabet. F, J, W, and Z. There are also a handful of letters that are not present in the English alphabet, specifically one consonant and six vowels. I recommend you not try to remember all of them for now. Please note that the marks which appear on the vowels are not tone marks. You can simply call them vowel marks and there are only three of them, a smile, a hat, and a hook. A Vietnamese word may include from one to three syllables. For example, học, which means to study, is a one-syllable word. But học sinh, which means a student, is a two-syllable word. Each syllable can have one optional initial consonant and another optional final consonant, a vowel or a diphthong or chipthong, and different from English, it always has a tone. You can look at my name as an example. The initial consonant is TR, which is pronounced as CH in chair in English. The middle vowel is pronounced as A in apple and the final consonant NG is pronounced like NG in sing in English and no tone mark means the first tone in Vietnamese. One interesting thing about Vietnamese is each letter or a combination of letters has a fixed pronunciation. A in the middle of my name is always pronounced as in apple or map in English. So once you master the basic pronunciation, you can read out loud everything in Vietnamese, even without understanding. If you can speak Mandarin Chinese, Vietnamese is very similar to Chinese pinyin in this aspect. And I can say, if you speak English, you can guess the pronunciation of a Vietnamese syllable correctly 70% of the time. Now you may want to question how many tones there are in Vietnamese. But that's too much for the lesson today. We will learn more in our future lessons. Finally, if you want to read the Vietnamese alphabet, there is a children's song for it, but from my experience, you don't have to remember how to read the alphabet, at least for now. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel or visit our website at hellovietnamese.app. And I will see you in our next class.